Hey everyone, it's Heath and Kelly back from Home Zone Wheels, and we are out here at Clayton Homes in Albertville, Alabama, and we are filming the Morocco today. It is a four bedroom, two bath, 1904 whopping square feet. Let's go inside and take a look. If you guys are not subscribed, be sure to do so. It's free to do, and you get notified every time we release a new video. And hit that bell icon, that way you get notified. And there's Kelly, she's back. And wow, I really like the light wood. That's the first thing I notice when I come in here, Kelly. It, how much lighter it looks, yep. Go ahead. And we're just gonna give you a scan around. And look at the walls. Now, I don't know, these walls are not drywall. They may be upgradable, I don't know. You'll have to ask them. And we're gonna put the contact information there below. Of course, you see the vents in the ceiling. I know you guys are always going to ask about that. So, and stage really nice. And Kelly has already picked out this picture. She loves it, loves it, loves it, loves it. And this is not like a den or living room. Or I mean, I guess it is a living room or greeting room almost, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, living room. You could put a TV in here. Yeah. There's a place for that over here. We're going to get to that in a minute. But right now, we're going to walk into the kitchen. This is another open floor plan. And this is the kitchen area. The island does have the sink and the dishwasher in it. Gives you the seating along the side. Not quite as much storage as some of the other floor plans that we've looked at, but it definitely gives you enough storage. It's very functional. Very functional. The cabinets do go all the way to the ceiling enough that you need a step stool to get up there. Yeah, to get all the way up. So you got enough shelving. And definitely deep enough on the bottom too, all the way to the wall. Good for the pots and pans. And something that I've really come to like in some of these home tours we've been doing is the butler pantries. And I don't know, would this qualify, Kelly, because it's just stepping off to the side? Is it? Does this qualify as a butler pantry? I think it does. I think so. I mean, it gives you this big, more space, but more of a kind of a pantry. Yeah. Feel with it, too, where it's more of a be able to stack stuff. But you've got some functional shelving and stuff, too. You've got the functional shelving. You've got the cuteness. You actually have a window here that opens up to. Oh yeah. To give you that a little, little fresh air. Fresh air, and then you've got another step back into your laundry room. With just the one shelf here. Although I think you can probably add another shelf there if, oh, yeah. if you needed it. Um, maybe put your laundry detergent and stuff there, and then another shelf here. Got a plug in here too, an extra regular plug in. So if you need an ironing board or anything like that, you have enough space here to be able to do that. Yeah. So we're going to walk back, and here is the dining area uh, right here. And we're going to work our way back. And we said this is, it has a family room. And like I say, because this is an open floor plan, they said they don't have the furniture in here uh, for this one yet, or all the furniture anyway. So this would be like a family room area. And that's big enough for even an 80 inch TV. Uh, you have as big of a TV as you wanted here. <laughs> and they'd be able to see it from the kitchen and yep. the dining room. Yep. And the island. So you could watch what I'm watching even while you're cooking. If I wanted to watch. Or unless I was cooking. <laughs> if you were cooking. And if you actually were grilling and you had a deck there, you could probably, you know, peer in and see what you were. That's true. You so you got the sliding glass doors right there. All right, let's head back into the other bedrooms. We've got a lot of bedrooms covered. We're going to try to make it as quick as possible. Also, it'd be nice, too, with this living area here, if you had smaller children and you have the bedrooms right here, you'd be really close to those children. Yeah, now they've got some of their stage and stuff in here. Y'all overlooked that. Um, but we've got this here, and we're going to just step over and take a look at these walk-in closets here. And this is a big old walk-in closet. It does have the wire shelving. I know some of you like it, some of you don't, but that is a very cheap upgrade that you could do yourself if you wanted to, around 50 bucks or so. So let's step over, and I'll try to remember to put a link in the description of some of the shelving we found on Amazon, pretty reasonable. 
And we are into the number two bedroom. Of course, you've got your window there. And it does look centered. And you've got another walk-in closet here. Again, wire shelving on this one too. Can lights. And again, your air is in the ceiling, or your heating and air, I should say. So we are going over to the other bedroom and we'll check the guest bath next. So this is a three bedroom, or I'm sorry, a four bedroom house total. This is guest room number three. A little bit smaller closet in this one. So this might be better for the office or if you have a small kid and wire shelving there too. So let's go and look at the bathroom. Very functional. You got your vanity and your sink and the shower tub combo there. All right, so now we're gonna head back what everybody likes to see. It's that time we're going to the master bedroom and the master bath. Has the Eco B too. Oh, yep, sure does. Eco B, where you can control your heating and air with your cell phone. Those smartphones, those dang old smartphones. And a big old uh, window right there. A big one. And that's not a bay window either. That's just a regular <laughs> window. It's just a big window. And got enough room here. Well enough for a king bed and still some room left over. You've got two vents in here and two canned lights. And I noticed that there's a closet here in this master bedroom. Yep, here's one of the closets and it's a deep one. Wire shelving, again, easy fix. I forgot to show them the flooring. The flooring looks really good too. I like the light flooring. Mm -hmm. All right, so now let's go into the master bath and we're gonna check out the other closet for the master. If you wanna go in, Kelly, and we'll work over to the right here and get them a look at the vanity. And the dual sinks there. The drawers here are really nice too, nice. Yeah, good deep drawers. So you put all your curling irons and thingamadoos that I don't even know what are called here. And I'd give you a drawer, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, one. All right, and then this little nook area, this would be great if you have like the three clothes hampers, one for your clothes, one for your towels, everything right there, or maybe another little makeup station vanity type thing. Lights, darks, and oh, okay. colors, not towels, and other things. <laughs> All right, and you've got, a, uh, you've got actually a shower tub combo in the master as well. I know some of you guys actually prefer that. So there you go. This one's for you. It's yeah. One last thing to clean. One last thing to clean. There you go. And you got your toilet over here to the side. But another, another closet. Another closet. Yep. There you go. And again, it's got the wire shelving, but it's something you could change yourself. And the access to your water pipes and everything right there in the closet as well. So now let's go and see how much it is. And this this thing, guys, I think you're gonna be surprised at how affordable this one is. I, I know I was. So let's go and take a look at that real quick, Kells. It is $109,410, 1,904 square feet, as I said. And this is at the time of filming, all of that. It's subject to change. Be sure to call Clayton Homes in Albertville, Alabama. We're gonna put the information in the description box below and join us as we go for another home tour. We're going there right now. Be sure to click in the upper right hand corner for the next video so you don't miss it. If you hadn't subscribed already, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button.